Yo, what's poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. I got Alan Bob with me today, as you guys what's can tell. Guys? If you guys want to check out his Instagram, I'll leave it in the description box below. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. But anyways, we're at Walmart. We have a few little things that we need to grab today because we're going to be searching for some giant, giant, giant bass. Giant, giant. So we got to go inside, grab some tackle. I'm not going to be vlogging in there. I'm just going to take, you know, a few quick shots. We're going to come back outside and then we're going to be talking about the baits. Let's get it. We just made it out to the old beautiful place that we're gonna be fishing. This is where I caught, you know, that big one. <laughs> dude, that is the, look how big his head is, dude. Guys, that is a mega one. With Alan Bob, let me know in the comment section below if you like me and Alan Bob going out and searching for big bass. We wanna let you guys know if you do like it, hit the freaking like button. Alan, how many likes do they have to get on this video? Uh, come on, man. As many as you guys can. No, no, no. How many likes? We gotta get a goal, bro. Everything, everything with the goals, bro. With the what? You gotta have the goals, bro. Goals? All right, yeah. all right, all right. Let's see. At least. How many likes do you think? <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. 10K? 10K likes. 10K likes. All right, give this video the 10K, 10K likes, likes for Alan Bob, man. <laughs> get this video for to Ken. To, 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 well, let's go ahead and talk about why. We bought all these baits, how we're gonna be using them, and the reason I pretty much bought these. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what we got. Plenty of chatter baits, guys. I think you guys already know that. This is pretty basic, but I am gonna say that we got some. We ended up getting four black and blue chatter baits. These are 3 8 ounce. You guys know, freaking chatter donkeys, man. Chatter donkeys, I love them. They catch big fish. Um, I already have some trailers for them. I've been using the six inch trailers. They've been doing the job for me. For some reason, the color I've been putting on has just been killing it. Um, I also got some of these crawls right here. These are just some standard black and blue ones to go on the back of some of these jigs. And the reason I bought these jigs right here, I usually have, I've been using the hybrid jig by six cents. Been catching a bunch of fish on it. It casts really far. You know, I got the perfect weight for it. I can skip it good. Overall, it's just a really great jig. It's got good hook, good hooks. I was gonna say hooks. It has a good hook on it. It's really sharp, but I actually am currently out of them. So I had to go buy Walmart and pick up a few. And then also one thing that I'm really gonna be shooting for today, I'm excited about this, is a big worm, man, right there. This is an old monster, big worm, 10 and a half inch. Let's catch a giant thing. I really wanna to toy with it today. It's been a while since I've fished a giant worm. We're gonna be rigging this up Texas rig style. If you guys are worried, if you guys are wondering about the conditions, bluebird skies, as you guys can tell, pretty much zero to no wind. There's a slight breeze every once in a while. Um, but you know, today's probably gonna be a little slow. I do have the chatter donkey on because, man, eh, Alan Bob, come on, back me up on this. You gotta have yeah, the chatter you gotta donkey have. On, you know? I actually did throw a few of these trailers in here. This is the chatter donkey trailer I'm using. This is by Six Cents, and this guy has been working. Let me tell you something. The chatter baits I've been using are black and blue. This one has like a brownish top right there and like a sparklish translucent bottom. Looks pretty wacky to put on a black and blue chatter bait. But let me tell you, that's how I've been catching them. I don't understand, but this combo, this color, with the black and blue chatterbait just kills it. If you guys do want to check these out, or if you want to buy any of the six cents stuff, I do have 10% off. You can look at that in the description box. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's down there. And uh, yeah, that's all the baits that we bought. We bought, you know, a good, a good bit, man. I spent 40 bucks inside of Walmart, just kind of stocking up for the next two hours. <laughs> Me and Alan Bob sometimes break off a lot. So um, yeah, we got the base right here, got our rods up. Let's go ahead and rig our poles, and then we're gonna go catch some big bass. All right, Alan, talk about what baits you got on today and what you're thinking about using. All right, I got two juicy baits right here. Got a chatter bait. A little white, white one. Chartreuse. Okay, I like Going it. Going for big fish. Going for that. big donkeys, right? Yeah. Kind of like a wobble head. A little shaky, shaky head. Shaky head. Cool. And that's about it, man. That's cool. See how it goes. So last time Alan Bob was using that, you caught yourself a trophy. Yeah. Good job, Alan. That's awesome, buddy. Yeah. That's so awesome. Trophy. <laughs> you got yourself a trophy. So I don't know, man. That's gonna be some juice. Since Alan Bob has got the white and chartreuse, I put on the black and blue. And then I actually put a black and blue jig on. So those are two big fish baits. And then if you thought I was done yet, I got me a freaking 12-inch worm right there. 
So we got some big baits. All three of them that I'm throwing today are meant for big fish. These are gonna be catching some big ones. We're gonna be covering the water column, figuring out what they want. And I think these three baits are gonna do the trick for big bites. All right, boys, me and Alan Bob are at the old spot where I caught that one that I don't even know. We have a scale today, so we're good, but I think he was a double digit. I called him a nine just because we didn't get to weigh him, but he was dang up there. So we got jig, chatterbait, big worm. I think I'm gonna start off with the big worm. Alan Bob's gonna start off with the chatterbait, cover some water. I just would love to catch a giant bass on this massive worm today. So let's give it a shot, see what we can do. Bunch of grass in here. Hopefully we can get a big bass. I need some new line on this reel. Oh, got him. Dude, I saw him. I saw him eat it, bro. On the chatter dog? <laughs> what? Really, Alan? That quick, bro? That quick, man. On the moving bait? That's awesome, dude. I saw him eat it. The water's so clear, actually, on this side. And I saw him come out of the cover. Dude, that's so awesome. That's cool, man. You yeah. started it off, man. That's nothing big, but like, just to get the monkey off her back, that's a small fish to eat a chatter dunk. Yeah. For, for the most part, but good job, Bob. Get an old fancy release on him since he's the first fish. Oh, oh. Yeah, nice. Flash. <laughs> there you go, Bob. Good job, man. Got the monkey off her back right away, dude. That's like, what, your second, yeah, cast? second cast? Yes, sir. Oh, I got him. Gosh, on the big worm, bro. It's a good one too, not bad. On the big worm. Dude, let's go, easy two pounder. On the big worm. Bro, hammered okay. it, man. That feels so good, it's been so long. Look how fat he is. He might not even be two pounds. That's pretty impressive, man, to eat a worm like that. I mean, I, I mean, like a big worm, like a small one to eat a big worm, but he actually got it, dude. I started dragging it, it was right when I started dragging it, and he went tick, 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 tick. Fine of that, bro. I think he's about, he's a little over a pound and a half with his fat tummy. I don't think he's two pounds, though. Probably a pound and three quarters. Don't weigh him, dude. Not, yeah. Pound and a half pound to and pound and three quarters. I don't, he's not two pounds. I don't even know why I'm weighing a fish this small, but. Let's see what you got. Almost two pounds. Pound and three quarters, over a pound and three quarters. One pound, 13 ounces. Yeah. Beautiful little fish, Thank big you. worm. Can I beat that right there? Fat tummy, almost a two pounder. Let's go. Good job, brother. Yes, sir. Me and Alan Bob are both on board. That's so fun, dude. Some about big worm bite. Some about a big worm. I want you guys to leave your comments in the comment section below. What's your favorite big worm? And also, what's the biggest bass that you've caught on a big worm? I'm curious about that. Like I was thinking in my head, I was like, I'm gonna start dragging it. And like right when it hit my head to start dragging it, he hammered it right then and there. Like my first swipe. I was like, oh, I like it. Jeez, dude, that's not a bad one at all. Holy <laughs> snap, that's over two pounds. That's over two. Yeah, he is about the same. Yeah. Let me see what you got, Bobby. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, it's about the same size. About, about a pound and three quarters. Yeah. That's good. You threw in there, got my revenge, man. I lost yeah. one. Bob threw in there, man. He munched up the shaky head. He hammered it. Smaller profile. Yeah. <laughs> good that's job, Bob. Good yeah, that's good, man. We're already get we're doing a good we're getting a good little yeah, start. Bluebird yeah. skies. You guys know. Tough conditions. Right. And Bob smacking them. Yeah. Let's go. So one on a chatterbait, one on a shaky head, and one on a big worm. That's how I like it. Give me some, Bob. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Remember last time we saw an iguana jump from a tree? And to note, iguanas do not live at this part where we live in Georgia. Like iguanas, a lot of you guys think I'm from Florida. I'm not from Florida. I travel to Florida to fish a lot. Iguanas are not from here, okay? Last time we saw an iguana, it was a big weird thing. Oh, we almost think it might've been someone's pet that they like really, oh, I got him. 
Dude, they are smacking the big worm, bro. That's a baby. He's as big as the worm. I like it though. They're eating it so aggressive. I really like it. Talking about iguanas and catch me an iguana bass. You got the iguana bass, Island Bob. Look at, look at this, it's pitiful. What the heck are you doing, bro? What are you doing with your life? That's like me after eating, eating sushi, Alan. Me and Alan go to eat sushi all the time and we get all you can eat. That's what I feel like we are like. To remind you guys, this is the plum big old monster worm. Yeah, I like it. I don't get to throw big worms often or I don't do it too often. Big old Texas rig, baby. I mean, look at that. That's just saucy. Uh-oh. Whoa, you little turd, man. You little turd, man. Uh, oh, he's uh. <laughs> this is an iguana. This is definitely an iguana. Sorry about the noise, guys. We got freaking 12 lawn mowers going around. It's a helicopter that's out there for some reason. I feel like I'm going to get bit right here. I feel this. I feel it right here, man. That's, that's money. Yep. Oh, gosh. God. Oh. Dude, he's stuck in the grass. Oh, no. Ah. Dude, I said that was money, and he freaking slammed it when I said that. Pound and a half. <laughs> right when I said that, I was like, dude, that cast is money, bro. Right when it hit the water, he's about pulling the rod. I didn't even move it. Look at that, that's a beautiful one. Not bad. Yeah, no. Solid pound and a halfer. Pound and a halfer. I love how they're eating today, man. Finally feels somewhat decent again. So guys, this pond has a bunch of grass. Um, and, and the crazy thing is, is we're not even really paying attention to it too much. You know, we, we don't really catch them on the edge of the grass, at least right now. We really pay attention to, you know, the drop-offs in the middle. You know, you got this little canal both sides are kind of like this and in the middle it kind of goes like this so you get that little bowl and that's exactly what we're fishing we're fishing right down the pipe of it that tiny tiny drop off like i said we're in about three to four foot off the bank right here but when you go out in the middle it hits that five six foot and when a pond is super shallow a three foot to six foot drop off is huge i mean that's a huge drop off put it in perspective say this is three foot right here and it drops off the six right there that's pretty much you being like on a on a lake and it being 10 foot dropping to 20 you know it's double the drop off so that you know and that's why those fish sit down in it man that's stuff that you guys really need to focus in on when you're when you're fishing new areas on the lake on the yak on the boat on the bank everything you know this is just basic bass fishing 101 and the little things you need to pay attention to is where you're casting your bait and if you know how the fish stage up especially on a day like today with the sun out I know they're gonna be tucking down in some of those divots, some of that structure on the bottom, and they're also gonna be getting in some of this grass. So just a little bit of stuff I wanted to talk about so you guys kind of have an understanding on what we're doing and why we are catching this fish. <laughs> that's a three pounder all day baby sorry about the noise guys we got some supporters out here <laughs> the llama with tea man they were cheering you on alan bob <laughs> dude, dude that's a good one i know that's awesome bro i don't know he might be two and three quarters let's get an official weight on him like i said guys sorry about the noise man there's people cutting grass but that's a solid two and a half to three pounder right there if i could take a guess i'm gonna say two and three quarters Two and, two and three quarters two pounds 13 ounces is what i'm saying i know it's really messed up man i had some difficulties oh, there, you there you go two pounds 13 ounces close two pounds 11 let me That's see pretty good 2.1 or 210 210 what are you saying 2.1 i'm bob he's trying to kill me over here 210 <laughs> 210 all right there you okay. go it's a good one get him back in the water buddy that's a good one that's, that's a good fish Two pounds, ah. 10 ounces. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Oh. oh, there he goes. Awesome, bro. That's good. Best fish today. 
Don't leave me shaky. hanging. <laughs> there you go. On the shaky head. All right, guys, we're going to fish here a little bit longer. I hate it because the noise, but I think they're gone. Yeah, I think they're gone. gone. I hope they're gone. That was so noisy, bro. All right, they're coming back, right? What the heck, bro? <laughs> I said it way too early. But I think we're going to fish here with the worms for a little bit longer and then move locations. So, boys, me and Alan Bob right here, we're going out to a new place that he's never been to. I've been to once before, okay? And I've only caught, it's a little dark, I've only caught one fish here but he was almost five pounds and it was like one of the craziest catches. I was like reeling my chatterbait in and I got it to the bank. I lifted it out of the water and I noticed there's like a five pounder behind me and uh, I dropped it back in front of his nose and he just gobbled it up. So yeah, we're gonna be trying to catch some big ones here. I wanna be sticking with the big worm. Alan Bob's gonna be sticking with the shaky head. I also brought my chatter donk because... Because it catches a big fish. Like, it's big a fish. chatter donk, guys. It's like, Alan, like, Ah, come on guys. It's, it's the chatter dong. It's like it's you know you know when you go to math class like two plus two? It's the chatter dong, man. It's, it's fishing equals chatter dong. What? Oh my dude, you just like Oh Oh my god, holy shit, he's dead. Oh my gosh, did he actually die? Oh my god. What the heck, bro? He just knocked that guy out. Dude. Dude, that's a good one. He was in the same spot as yours. Dude, that's a good one. Oh yeah, yours is still alive. He's just a little knocked out. Oh, that's an easy two and a half pounder. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, we kind of doubled up. Dude, we just stopped here. That was quick. You feel how cold these fish are? All right, guys. Solid one right there. I'd say he's about two and a quarter to two and a half. As you can tell, scale zeroed out. You guys asked for this, man, so I'm, I'm going to start weighing them, especially on a day like today. 2.2. So almost two, almost two and a quarter. It's about, what did I say before? Two and a quarter, two and a half? Yeah. That's fine. It's a pretty fish, man. He feels hefty, though. It's really good. It's a good one, man. On the big worm, me and Alan Bob doubled up. Alan about knocked a fish out. He swam <laughs> off perfectly fine, though. Beautiful fish, man. That's awesome right there. It's hard to get down there. Yeah. There it goes. Dude! Let's go! We stopped, dude. That was both of our pretty much first cast. <laughs> I threw the pipe a few times. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread.